Hi everyone, in this video we're going to discuss trigonometric substitution. So trigonometric substitution is by far the longest and probably the most challenging technique that a person will learn in calculus. So these are the different forms to look for. So forms, and then over here I'll give you the substitution. And there's only three forms, substitution. What makes it so difficult is how long the problems are. Um, you know, you'll look back at the end of a Calculus 2 course and you'll say, what was really tough about it? What was long? And oftentimes people will say this. This was something that is just very, very long. So the first form is the following. The square root of a squared minus u squared. So if you have this form, then in theory, you can use a trig substitution. You would let u equal to a sine theta. So it's just worth memorizing. So that would be your trig substitution. Let me go ahead and actually just make up an example here so you see uh, exactly uh, what I mean. So say for example we had, um, let's see, the integral of, um, how about just uh, x over the square root of 9 minus um, 4x squared uh, dx. And let me put a, a, a 2 here just to make it a little bit different. Okay, so in this case here, you would think about the bottom piece here. So the 9, you can really think of that as 3 squared. And this piece here, the 4x squared, is really 2x squared. So you see your a here is, is 3. And your u is is simply 2x you see because you have this this piece down here so it'd be a squared minus u squared so your substitution would be u equals a sine theta so it would actually be u equals a sine theta let me write it so you see it so that would be 2x equals 3 sine theta that would be your substitution okay that would be the sub you make then you take the derivative of both sides, et cetera. It's a long process. <laughs> this is just the first step. Um, so it's really important that you, you start the problem correctly. So always fit the form. Uh, this is a very common form. Another form that is even perhaps more common is this one. It's a squared plus u squared. So this one is u equals a tan theta. Okay, a tan theta. And I'm out of room here, so, so I won't give an example. But it's the same idea, right? If I put a plus here, uh, it would be the same thing. And the last one is a little bit different. It has the u first. So it's u squared minus a squared. And in this case, it would be u equals a secant theta. So these are the formulas uh, that you want to, to memorize for trig substitution. There's other ways of doing trig substitution. But uh, for some of the harder problems, I honestly think it's better just to know the formula because um, you, can, you can do the problems directly without having to be super clever and, you know, you, you could do it. So these three will lead you to the right path. In the videos that follow, you'll see various examples of trig substitution.